Coming in hot! In any sport, patience is paramount. Knowing when to strike, invaluable. But in every game, no matter what the arena, no amount of skill or protection I'm about to wheel it. can slay a menace lurking around every collision. Oh, he got me! That was big, though. And every fall. That was the biggest one. It was constant headaches for weeks upon weeks. Thomas Worthington High School senior Nick Hiley remembers his first concussion well. Oh! It happened playing football freshman year. I had neck spasms, really couldn't move my neck either way. Tunnel vision where you really, your peripheral vision was almost blurred. This isn't your ankle. It's not something you can just tape it up and, and play through. And, and, you know, over the last couple of years, it's become the number one diagnosis that we see in our, in our offices. Dr. Stephen Cuff says a helmet may protect your skull, but your brain is different. Think of the yolk inside of this egg as your brain. This glass, your skull. Even if you cover it with something like a helmet, if there's a big impact, your brain is still gonna be moving back and forth against your skull. So companies like Shockbox are focusing on the next best thing, early detection. Once an impact is detected, they can actually prevent them going back out onto the field in custom. The company sells $150 sensors that are placed on top of an athlete's helmet. Ready? So when that bone-jarring hit happens, it measures the amount of gravitational or G-force it produces. You gotta come way harder, Jack. Clinically, a lot of the research has shown that uh, the range for concussions is somewhere between 70 and 100 G. To give you an idea of just how much force it would take, we put a melon inside of the helmet to serve as a head. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. After we dropped the helmet, the sensor in the phone went off and highlighted in orange, meaning that trainers and coaches need to check on that player for a potential concussion. It gives them another tool in their toolbox to uh, assist in the concussion problem. I was thrilled to see something like that out there because, again, these boys, are they think they're invincible. Local mom Mary Lynn Buster has two boys who play impact sports. Her oldest suffered a bad concussion playing hockey. It's sketchy turning on these freaking blades, man. Yeah. Hockey is a very expensive sport, but again, you know, how can we not take that one extra step to protect them? And while early detection is important, oh. proper treatment after is vital. Sometimes, you know, they'll clear up within a couple hours or a couple days. Oftentimes, especially in, in teenagers and even younger patients, it's not uncommon for them to last for weeks or sometimes even months, especially if they're, they're not treated properly. So Dr. Cuff says taking physical and mental breaks are key, which is not always an easy sell to teens. It was not fun. Nick Hiley needed to sit out several months before he was cleared to return from his first concussion. You may feel like, oh, you can play through it and they'll go away, but your headaches will not go away. And I think that the children need to also be told this is okay. If you, you know, if you get hit, it's, there's nothing wrong with saying, I'm hurt and here's what my symptoms are. It doesn't mean you're less of a tough guy. It doesn't mean that you're not as strong. Oh yeah. And thanks to more education and new technology. We were beating them. It isn't as easy for concussions to skate around unchecked. But experts agree, the battle is far from over. Oh!